Evil Skulls might be one of the best evolutions in Clash Royale after the new update. In today's video, we'll be finding out how good they really are. Going into game number one here with this corn wins. Free corn mafia. Okay, you won't get a free corn against me. I'm pretty sure about that. So I'm just gonna give him a good luck and using my skulls in the back there. And seeing his good old Gorbo. So okay, so this might be, I don't know. This might be a ton of different stuff. I think drill most likely, but also could be hawk. Okay, seems like, I don't know, dude. I'm honestly not sure what this could be. So, I'm just gonna go for my princess here. And also, of course, trying now to go in for my king to activation here. And now I'm just gonna go for my Tesla. Just making sure king does activate. We don't need to worry about anything. Now I'm just gonna go skeletons here. Making sure to hopefully kill the cracker. Almost at least. But it's okay. Hmm... I just want to go for my... No, I'm not going to go lock. I don't need it. So far, so good. We are on that much. We got the king to activation, which is the most important thing. So they added two skeletons to the evolution. And I was just like kind of surprised because I was actually sleeping when the Valentinus were coming alive. And I was like, hmm, kind of thinking about what could be really strong after the update. Like maybe Ice Skull could be really interesting to try out. But then I saw like Riley pushing to number one in the world and seeing a ton of decks of the evil skeletons. Actually, people who had like a pro chat were saying that evil skeletons are actually a really good card now and are one of the best cards in the entire game. And they're like one of the best evolutions also and kind of climbed up the ranking. I wasn't really believing that, but there are like so many in so many situations on defense. They're just so, so good. And just like... Really working out well in Lockwood, especially con with the um, Evo Knight nerf also. Okay, I mean, I'm just gonna go for my barrel here. I can just go for my Eastward. And, yes, yeah, so just like against Giant, like even against Goblin Giant, so on, they're just doing so well because they need to lock. Otherwise, like, it's just absolutely incredible. Also, do so well against Evo Barbs, at example, against Evo Knight. And this is kind of what I love to see. So I'm just gonna go for my Tesla there. I think this Prince is, okay, Prince is fine, to be fair. I thought, like, maybe the Cracker... Would attack my tom. I'm just gonna go for my skeletons here. And I think now I'm just gonna go for my goblin bro here. I'm also gonna go for a lock because I think we outcycled his lock there. And that's what we did here. I'm just gonna cycle another princess here. Just wanna control the game as best as we can. And now I'm just gonna go for my Tesla here. And I'm just gonna go for this here. And he will most likely just drop his stuff. They need to go Tesla high now. Good Tesla, to be honest. Also, I think we, we kill this, cra uh, this Cracker at least almost. Interesting that he plays Evolution Cracker, but I kind of, to be fair, makes also sense considering that he has his um, Evo and not, uh, no, no, not uh, that he doesn't have his uh, Knight. He has like um, Mighty Mine, which I don't really see a lot currently in Clash Royale, so kind of surprised seeing this card. To be fair, it's still a solid card, but currently a card which you don't really see too much. Let's go for my Evo Skeletons there. Let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my lock there. I'm just gonna go Tesla. I mean, Cracker is like really good against Evil Skulls, of course, killing all of them. But this Princess does a good job. I think the Prince also targets the Firecracker, right? Let's go. And I think this is our chance to go for the rock. We got the Prince on the map, we got a Tesla, we got overall Elixir um, lead. So why not just going for that? So we need to go Skeletons. I'm also gonna go Tesla now. Really good Tesla placement, perfect Tesla placement. Getting over the EQ there. And now also my princess kills that. I'm just gonna go for another barrel here. And so far we are up 500 damage. And we kind of want to continue extending the lead, of course. Everything else wouldn't really make too much sense. So I'm just gonna go for my uh, electric spirit here. Princess, skeletons, and having another Tesla in hand. Also gonna go for my Evo Knight there. Um, and not Evo Knight, normal Knight. Going for lock here, making sure that we're killing that. And I'm just gonna go on for another barrel here, making sure that we continue baiting out his lock. So he's just gonna go in for... Okay, I'm just gonna play my lock there. Okay, maybe I should have just Tesla. That wasn't really well played, to be honest. So I kind of made mistakes there, but we can still win this one. Since we have the prints on the map, I can just go for my rocket there. I'm just gonna go Tesla. Just gonna play another barrel there. Prince is low. Lock like this. Skeletons like this. Another Tesla's coming down. And we are defending this so far so good. I'm just gonna go for another barrel. Using my ice bird there. I mean my black ice bird using my log. And once ago, just going for a Tesla there. Good Tesla placement once again. Killing everything, distracting everything. I think this time we might get one shot, and one shot is gonna be enough. I'm just gonna go log instantly in case he goes like for his evil quick at the bridge. GG's well played. Winning this one. Let's go. Here we go guys into the next game against Colin. Let's see what he does. Starting off the game with the Golden Bell early on, and let's just pray. 
Yeah, he doesn't have a tornado, but Baron Brother Lock. He got one of them. I'm just gonna go Prince Immediate Breach, just trying to be aggressive. Miles like it's gonna be a control deck. So getting early Prince's chip, of course, is always great. Just gonna go for a knight here. Nado Monk. This is this has to be a non-meta deck because I don't have I, I don't have any meta deck in mind with Monk Tornado. So okay, we're doing a great job like this tracking. I'm just gonna go for my E-Spirit here. Good e -spirit. I would say I'm just gonna go for my skeletons now, and I'm also gonna support this knight with a barbarian with, 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 with my goblin barrel. So I'm just gonna take the lock then. I might just go in again for Prince at the Bridge. So I don't know, goblins, tornado, monk, minus. So he showed like half of his deck. He also got zapped, so I think it's gonna be a balloon cycle deck. At least that's what I think. I'm just gonna go for my knight there. I'm also gonna go for my Tesla. Skeletons are coming down like this. And we're doing a good job defending the balloon. Please, no shot. Let's go. I'm just gonna go for my goblin barrel here. I don't think he's back yet to his goblin, so I'm not gonna go pre lock. He just goes in Fortunato, which might be one night shot. I'm taking this, and of course, we need to be careful with his minor chip because we just got like knight for that. And he got zap, which is really good against evil skill. Yes, and of course, with the monk, right? I don't wanna give him like any like value with the monk. Um, so I'm just gonna go perfect night catch. Really good night catch. So does he have execution or not? What are his other answers? I'm just gonna find my e-spirit there. I'm just gonna go skeleton. I'm also gonna go barrel. Okay, he got bomb tom. I'm just gonna go still for the barrel, not the best barrel. Oh, I was kind of praying maybe to get some value. But it's okay, I'm just gonna take the lock here. Some extra chip damage. At least he doesn't have lock in his deck, which is always a good message. Now I can also activate King Tower soon with my princess, maybe. Okay. So I'm just gonna go for my knight there. Making sure to hopefully cleans up. Okay, interesting. I'm just gonna go for this there. I'm just gonna go for my log. I'm also gonna go now. I need to go for my e spirit there. E spirit is doing a good job defending this really nicely, and I'm just gonna go play another goblin barrel there. And so far, we're doing a great job. And just like I think, like this type of match against control is like that. Of course, evil skeletons aren't as good as against like something like. Um, be done decks, but I still think they're doing that like they can do some work hopefully soon against the monk at least they're doing a really great job there so he might use his ability now and not his ability okay he might okay no he's not gonna use it so we're gonna go for the evil skeletons there okay he was gonna go for the zap but I can just go for my golden boy I'm also gonna go for pre-lock there maybe I'm able to hit some of them no actually not but still okay I'm just gonna go for my skeletons here using my princess now to support my tower and I think the princess is not gonna stay alive because my tower actually sucks. Okay, using another my uh, Goblin Barrel there with the Eastbird combined. Bomb Tower will die, so the Eastbird will tank. He just has Zap, so he doesn't have a tornado, so he's gonna go Zap. Really good Zap timing though. I need to go Knight now. I'm just gonna go Skeletons. Okay. I need to go also Eastbird just wanna make sure the balloon is not gonna go on top of my tower and we're just gonna go cycle another Goblin Barrel once again. Keep going. And also cycling my log. So, so log is our main chip damage source, it feels like. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my knight there. Princess. And I think I'm just gonna baiting out his zap there. Okay, that's really great. Really great. Look at this evil skelly guys! This is exactly what I'm talking about, right? You're doing an incredible job there. Getting so much value. So, so much value. That was so worth it. Like one elixir, it felt like against nine with the, with the monk and the executioner. So really great job there. I'm just gonna cycle once again my log. This time we're getting some chippy chip damage. I'm also gonna go for my princess here because the princess means okay. We're able to maybe get an activation. Okay, using my e spirit there, using my log there. Skeletons like this. Really good skeletons. Princes are gonna clean this execution up before he gets a shot. I'm also gonna go for the e-spirit here to make sure to retarget this one. And we're doing an awesome job here. Continue defending, hopefully, like there. I'm just gonna go for my skeletons there because this kind of forces him out to not go for his execution on the left side, not supporting his right side. We actually go cycle with another prince. It's the fourth princess on the map, and we are winning this one with four princes on the map. And also seeing now the evolution skeletons on the tower. And I can tell you guys, this one positive elixir trade was actually so helpful for us to win this game. Also, plus 42 medals for us in our back.
What the heck just happened, guys? I didn't find any opponent for 20 minutes, so I'm just playing against the same guy again. You can actually check my API. I didn't uh, cut out any loss or didn't cut out any game. I was just facing him back to back because no other player is playing. And no other player is playing. So basically, Clash Royale is dead, and we are the only two players left on the planet. Great to see. So let's just pray that we're going to beat him again. I mean, the matchup should be really good. And just like, imagine taking this guy 80 trophies from his number one in the world grind. It would be absolutely hilarious. I'm just going for my skeletons there. I'm just going to go for my eSpirit now. Good eSpirit, making sure that the princess stays almost alive at least. I think I'm just going to go for my Evo Skellies now behind this. So let's see. He needs to zap the Evo Skellies, otherwise he lost. He's going to go Tornado. I mean, okay, that's the same basically. <laughs> but still, I don't know, guys. This is just like so crazy. So let's see. What is he going to do? Is he going to go Bomb Tower? Okay, so he's playing his Bomb Tower there. Still, I think my princess almost gets another shot. Like, I cannot believe this, guys. I was just, like, scrolling through TikTok, was chilling here on my PC, was searching for 20 minutes, and then I saw the same name. Like, what the heck? Didn't I just play against him? And, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's happening. Normally, this isn't e even possible, I feel like. It's just, like, possible after, like, 20 minutes and so on, like, kind of it resets. But normally, you shouldn't be able to find the same guy twice. And I'm just going to go for a barrel now to the left side. Unfortunately, the eSpirit got targeted, but still okay. He's just gonna go for that. Is he gonna use his ability early on, or is he just gonna wait until his Mon goes into my half? I think that's exactly what he's gonna do. No, he's not gonna wait. It's a really good Monk timing, to be fair, but at least the Monk is not gonna be in my half, so it doesn't get any chip on my tower. But to be fair, it's also not really too important since this main damage will be on the right side anyway. So we're just gonna go in here for. This type of stuff. I'm also gonna go for my lock here. Eastbird actually gets on tower. I'm always taking extra chip damage, right? So his Axie hopefully dies almost at least. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my Tesla here. Tesla's doing a great job, hopefully. Together with the princess, I'm also gonna go for my Eastbird here, making sure to clean this up nicely. And now I'm just gonna go for my barrel here. And I'm also gonna go for my lock here. Let's see. Oh, is he gonna activate King Tony? He's not gonna activate it, okay. I'm just gonna go for my skeletons here, and skeletons honestly should do a great job there cleaning this stuff up. And I'm also playing another bell here and kind of praying if the skeletons connect to the bomb tower, they don't, but it's still okay. We're just gonna play my lock there, making sure to kill everything, and also at the same time getting chip damage once again, dude. So basically, we're playing against Colin, the best of three, maybe. I'm just gonna go for my East Bird here, I'm also gonna go for my barrel, and I'm just gonna go for my Tesla. Skeletons are coming down. Gonna kill it together with this using my barrel there. Tess is gonna clean it up and it's, he needs to go tornado. He is not gonna go tornado. So my goblin once again gets a shot. And as long as we are, oh no, even more, like more shots. As long as we are, continue this chip damage, we should easily win this round. Just gonna go for my knight there. He needs to go tornado now. Which is awesome. I'm just gonna set up another princess. And now I'm just gonna go for my barrel here. Oh, once every time I go evil skeletons, this guy is going in for his bomb tower. That's so annoying. But maybe this time, oh, almost at least. So, hmm. I'm just gonna go for my knight there. Using my princess, he's just gonna go for Xe at the bridge, kind of what I expected. Okay, I cannot go lock because he will use his ability as expected. But it's okay. I can just go down for my lock now. Using my knight there. Using my Eastbird, they're really good defense, guys. Really, really good defense. And we can just go spawn another princess here. Going for another golden boy, just doing the same thing over and over again. Just take the lock there. He misses the tornado, which kind of means this game is over. He should know that we know that. And we're just gonna go for my Eastbird there. Using this, I'm just gonna go for my Tesla. Tesla will clean this boy up. And also, we're gonna get the damage here. Beating Colin again, and I think once again, we're getting so many trophies because this guy is actually so high. So we're taking overall against this guy, 78 trophies in 20 minutes. I think this guy is not amused. Guys, I cannot believe this. I will show it after the game. I faced this guy now three times back to back to back. Uh, what am I supposed to say? There's nobody else on the planet anymore. I will show it like after the game. I will prove because some people say this is not possible, right? It is possible. What the heck just happened? So, seems like there's no other player playing Clash. I mean, like, there are just like a few people to be fair, which are currently an ultimate champion since like the season just started. 
Let's do, I don't know, this, this shouldn't be right. So let's go for my knight here, protecting my princess. So the good thing is we know what this guy's playing now, right? So he's just playing the, the, the balloon deck. So if you guys want to really learn how to play against balloon, this is the perfect guide for you guys. So I'm just going to go for the skeletons there. And I think I'm just going to go for my prince here at the bridge and see what he does. So let's go for my Tesla there. Good Tesla. Defending this really nicely. I have my e squad ready in case he's doing something surprising. But he's not so good defense. Honestly, the Tesla placement wasn't optimal to play one tile higher. But whatever, it's fine. I'm just gonna for my Golden Blood plus Esperity. The matchup is to be fair, to be nice, really, really good. So you match up facing like three times in a row with a bad matchup. It would be absolutely horrible, but I know, just like funny. I should call this video best of three against Khan. Do you ever have this in Clash Royale? Um I feel like this is just like a top letter thing, so maybe some of you guys aren't top letter, but I just assume most of you guys aren't, but yeah, I don't know. That's what happens like sometimes. It's like a real thing, right? Sometimes I don't find opponents, especially global tournaments when I'm really higher up. But sometimes this stuff is always happening. So I'm just gonna find my eSpirit here. Let's also talk about a bit of the, about the eSpirit. I just feel like eSpirit is so good against Grey because you're struggling against Grey with just the like, evil skulls and stuff, goblins. So I feel like this is one of the reasons we're using eSpirit and just I feel like also against Sparky decks and so on. eSpirit is just so helpful. Uh, I'm just gonna go for my Princess here to be fair. I'm also gonna go for Skull and so maybe he goes in for his Monk. He's gonna go for his Monk. This kind of gives us the opportunity to get a ton of load of the evil skeletons. Let's see. He's just gonna go for this. He still needs to play something, otherwise the evil skeletons are gonna shred his tower, please! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Evil skeletons! This is insane! This is what I'm talking about! I told you guys, they're crazy! This guy... <laughs> this guy will never play Clash Royale anymore. Imagine you're playing Clash Royale on, like on your chair, you're just chilling a bit, you face the game, the same guy three times in a row for a bad matchup, you're losing every single game and in the last game you get destroyed by evil scuds. I cannot believe this happened. GG's well played, we're winning this game and we're actually really high up on ladder now. So guys, we're Kuni number 6 in the entire world and I kind of just want to show you guys, we play, uh, show this to you guys, we played him three times in a row. I cannot believe this, let me know if this ever happened to you and I'm out Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Goodbye, guys.